God, I need you. God, I need you. Oh, crying out Bible. And I believe that as I begin to sing and we come into unity of the Spirit, by your faith, I believe that you are going to be healed on this very live. Baltimore, hello Texas, hello Daniel, hello to my mom and pop. I love you guys. So I'm going to ask you guys to please share the video, especially if you know people in your life that are sick, that have pain, whether it's mental illness, whether it's physical illness, share the video and allow somebody to tap into what God is doing right now. God, we need you. So let's just begin to type that and just set the atmosphere for God. God, we need you. 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 Yes, we need you. God, we need you. And I feel gave me uh, the instructions for tonight. And so tonight I'm going to be singing out of the Gospels. I have yet to do that. I will be singing from Mark chapter 5 and uh, for day one of the healing series, which is today. 
story that I really want us to focus on is the woman with the issue of blood. Jesus, have your way, God. Don Law, hello. So I'm going to be focusing on the issue, the lady with the issue of blood, and I'll be singing out of that. And as you um, tune in, I believe that people are actually going to feel, from what the Holy Spirit told me, is that people are actually going to feel a heat, a warmth come over their body. And when you feel that, you need to go ahead and press into that because that's the healing power of Jesus. And he's going to begin to heal you. And even right now, I feel the Lord beginning to actually touch people's bodies. Even right now. Even right now. The Bible says that your faith, daughter, has made you whole. Jesus. Hi, Chris. I miss you guys. Hi, Pamela. So, I'm going to go ahead and begin. Jesus, 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 Jesus. And I want to instruct you that if if you have any um, anything that would hinder your healing from happening, we know that the Lord can do anything, of course. But if I were sick, I would want to make sure that I didn't have anything, you know, um, hindering my healing. And so I'm going to ask you, if you do not know the Lord, ask the Lord Jesus Christ into your heart at this very moment. Say, come into my heart. I need you, Jesus. And I make you the Lord of my life right now. And if you have any unforgiveness in your heart, if you have an offense against someone, if something has happened and it caused you to be upset with your brother or sister in Christ, then you need to ask the Lord to forgive you for holding that offense and you need to forgive that person. be thinking, well, they did something horrible to me, but you can do anything through Christ Jesus, and that means you can even forgive people. Jesus said, Father, forgive them, for they know not what they're doing. They don't even know what they're doing. So, Father, we just pray right now that you would have your way, and I feel that you are stirring hearts even right now. followed him and pressed around him. And a woman was there who had been subject to to bleeding for 12 years. 12 years. And she had suffered a great deal under the care of many doctors. And she had spent all that she had. Yet instead of getting better, she grew worse. When she heard And she heard about Jesus She heard about Jesus All she had to do was just hear about Him And His saving grace The Bible says that she heard Oh, have you heard about Him? Have you heard that he heals the sick? Have you heard that he raises the dead? Have you heard that he delivers? Oh, have you heard about my Jesus? Oh, oh. The Bible says that when she heard about Jesus, she came up behind him. in the crowd and she touched his cloak she touched the hem of his garment 
And she thought, and she said this to herself, if I can just touch the hem of his garment, if I could touch him, if I could touch him, oh, that's all you gotta do tonight, is just to reach up and touch the Lord, oh, you're being healed right now. She felt it in her body And she knew She knew That she was freed From all of her suffering Are you ready to be freed From all of your pain All of your sickness All of your suffering Oh, it's being done right now By faith I said it's being done right now by your faith, you are being healed. You are being healed. Yes, yes, yes. You are being healed. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh. You got to say this. I am being healed right now. I am being healed right now. I am being healed right now. I'm being healed right now. Pressing my way, I'm touching the Lord. Whatever it is that I gotta do tonight, tonight is my day of redemption. Oh, yeah, no, 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 that power, another translation says that virtue had gone out from him. And he turned around in the crowd and he asked, Who touched me? Who touched my clothes? And the disciples answered and they said, You see all the people in the crowd? And yet you ask, Who touched me? And Jesus kept looking around to see who had done it. And the woman, knowing what happened to her, she came and she fell at his feet. Trembling. And she told him the truth. And he said to her, what he's saying to you tonight, he said, daughter, your faith has healed you. He said, your faith, your faith has healed you. Your faith has healed you. what the doctor has told you I don't care what you've seen before we don't walk by sight but we walk by faith so let faith arise tonight faith is arising right now your faith is arising right now your faith is arising right now your faith is arising right now Yes, God, yes, God, yes, God. And Jesus said, Go in peace and be freed from all your suffering. 
Jesus said to her, go in peace. Oh, oh, oh. So just put your hands on the place of your body right now. Where you have pain, where there's sickness. Go ahead and put your hand there right now. And myself and a whole team of intercessors who are on here right now. We are going to pray. We're going to come into agreement. You are going to be healed right where you are. Right where you are. And if you are on here and you're believing for a family member, I want you to put your hand on the place that they are sick, on your own body if you're not by them, in faith that you are standing in the gap for your loved one. Jesus, Jesus. And if it's like something like the blood or something, you just put your hand on your heart. We're going to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ, I speak to every sickness, I speak to every disease, I speak to every infirmity, I speak to pain, I speak to torment in the mind, and I command it in the name of Jesus Christ to leave right now. Go right now in Jesus' name. Pain, go right now in Jesus' name. Arthritis, go right now in Jesus' name. Digestive issues, leave right now in Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus, I command your back to be aligned right now. I just seen somebody that was hunched over in pain. in the name of Jesus I speak to you and I command you to rise up right now and I command that pain to leave and you're being healed right now stretch out your body right now you're being healed prayed this prayer he said let your will be done let your will be done on earth just like it is in heaven just in case you've been wondering what God's will is some of you said God will heal me if it's in his will and I won't get healed if it's not in his will. And let me just come to just break in with truth and dismantle that lie right there. The Bible says that Jesus said, he prayed, the Father's will be done on earth just like it is in heaven. Can I tell you, there's no sickness in heaven. Hmm. There's no disease, no pain in heaven. Oh. It's not in heaven. So God's will, God's will is for you to be healed and whole right here on earth. Healed and whole right where you are. Healed and whole in the name of Jesus. Healed and whole. He's already paid the price. He's already paid the price for salvation and for healing. They may have life and have it more abundantly. He never said that we should be sick in our bodies. So we break that right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, by your stripes you are healed. Migraines go right now. By 
right now oh in the name of Jesus oh yes God says he wants to go down through your bloodline he wants to go down to your bloodline things that have gone on in your family things that are hereditary oh he said he wants to give you a blood transfusion Oh, you've been adopted into the family of Jesus So you now have a new bloodline And the things that your grandma had And the things that your family had The things that your parents had We break that off of you you're coming out, you're coming through. We break on generational curses in the name of Jesus. Oh, 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 the Father's blood is flowing through you. The Father's blood is flowing through you now. Jesus. So if you are beginning to feel fire on your body, that's what I feel is happening right now. Let me know. Oh. What you couldn't do before. Some of you need to begin to stand up, bend over, stretch, move it. Do something that you couldn't do. God, we say that you are the healer. I am like the girl with the issue of blood. I won't let anything stop me from getting to my love. I'm gonna press my way. I am gonna press my way. Lord, I see you You've been dealing with this for so long And I see you It's like the life Has been sucked right out of you And you've been saying God, when is it my time? God, when is it my turn? 
God, do you hear me? God, won't you answer me? And God says, you've been faithful, and here I am. Just reach out, today is your day. All that weeping endured for the night. Today is your new morning Joy, 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 joy He's giving you beauty For your ashes Beauty For your ashes Thank you, Father. Thank you, Father. And I have some um, decrees that I'm going to pray right now. Oh, oh, God. And you can say them after me. Sometimes we just need to get our faith stirred. Sometimes we just need to get our faith stirred. someone call me earlier before the live and they wanted to testify that they believed they had been believing for a family member to be well and the doctors had said um, to them that the person the grandmother was going to have to have dialysis and they just said no and they just stood on the word of God and um, they were on a live a Facebook live I believe that Annie Edwards was on was on that live as well just watching and they had faith and they believed and and she called out kidneys and they believed for that family member when they went back to the doctor the person was all better and they didn't have to have dialysis and somebody else is on here uh, her name is Tammy and she wrote me and she said that um, she had just been believing for her her healing in anticipation of the, the video she had just been believing for her healing and before this video even started before it even went out she got her healing and so many people have been waiting and waiting for their healing and I'm here to tell you your healing is now your healing is now Jesus I felt so strongly in my spirit earlier. I believe I called it out, but I see digestive tract being healed even right now. Jesus, acid reflux being healed right now. So just say this with me. I live by faith. I walk by faith. I, not by sight. I thank you, Lord, that I have faith to speak to mountains and they will obey me. I put my trust in you, Jesus. I do not put my trust in flesh. I do not put my trust in man. But I put my trust in God. And because of Jesus Christ, tonight I am healed and I am whole. And whom the Son has set free is free indeed. Ain't no sickness gonna hinder me Whom the sun sets free It's free indeed Whom the sun sets free It's free indeed Ain't no chains gonna hinder me Ain't no sickness gonna hinder me Ain't no sickness gonna hinder me Ain't no sickness gonna
sickness gonna hinder me in the sunset free it's free indeed yes oh for every broken heart in the name of Jesus be healed and be whole mighty name and we just speak to everyone's legs if you're having any trouble in your legs if you are bound to a wheelchair if you're bound to a walker in the name of Jesus Christ I speak to you and I command you in the name of Jesus to rise up and walk I command you in the name of Jesus to get up and walk up and walk. Jesus' mighty name. And to that loved one that's in the hospital room and they're not awake or unconscious, I command them in the name of Jesus right now. Wake up. In the name of Jesus, wake up, get up, pick up your bed and walk. In Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. And I command deaf ears to open. And I command blind eyes to open. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. And I command cancer to leave. In the name of Jesus command your hips right now to be put back in the right place and for you to have perfect alignment right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, we say to Karen, to your mother, rise up and walk right now, daughter, in the name of Jesus. Fire on your knees and on those legs, yes. Jesus' mighty name, I command every bit of swelling in your body to go right now. I command every bit of swelling in your body to go right now in Jesus' name. Oh, thank you, Jesus, for that child that's been diagnosed with a terminal disease, with cancer, tuberculosis. Command it right now in the name of Jesus to leave. The child will not pass. The child will live in the name of Jesus. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Jesus, he's a healer. All we gotta do is call on his name. All the blood. Multiple sclerosis in the name of Jesus. We say be healed of that. Jesus, mighty name. Any form of palsy in the name of Jesus, we say. Palsy, go right now. Jesus, mighty name. Jesus is the healer. that are watching right now. Oh, and you have heart disease in the name of Jesus, I say be healed. Jesus took the stripes on his back. He was beaten and bruised so he can be healed. Left wrist being healed right now. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we call that out. You know, 
I have seen the number 39 all day today. And um, like everywhere I went, it was crazy. I saw the number 39. And I want to let you guys know that there are 39 known diseases, categories of diseases. And the Bible says that Jesus took stripes on his back. It says that by his stripes we are healed. New Testament says by his stripes we were healed. And biblical scholars say that Jesus received 39 stripes. Each one for every disease. So there is nothing there's nothing that Jesus won't heal. He's already paid the price for it. In the name of Jesus. Oh, yes, God. By his stripes, we are healed. We are whole. Stripes, I am being healed right now. Holy Spirit, we honor you. Come do what only you can do. Father, we're stepping out of the boat. We're stepping out in faith tonight. We know if you said it, we can believe it. If you said it, then it's done. We know if you said it, we can believe it. We know if you said it, then it's done. We know if you said it, we can believe it. Go ahead and keep writing your prayer request. And if I didn't see it, you can write it again. Jesus, mighty name. Father, I ask that you would allow faith to rise. All you need is faith, like a mustard seed. You can say to the mountain, any old mountain, in the name of Jesus, go right now, be cast into the sea. Yeah, yeah, it's nothing too big for our God. In the name of Jesus, shoulder pain right now. We command all pain to go right now. Whatever pain is in your body, we're commanding in the name of Jesus to go right now. Pain in your back, pain in your hips right now is leaving. Is leaving right now. Is leaving right now. Jesus, someone's being healed right now from pain that's in your hips and your lower back area. Jesus, mighty name. Jesus, thank you. We give you praise. Just begin to praise him and praise him. Yes. In Jesus' name. We break off cigarette addiction right now. You'll put them down and you won't pick them up again. In the name of Jesus. Put them down and you won't pick them up again. We speak to every addiction In the name of Jesus You gotta go You can't stay any longer Put them down and you won't pick them up
come up again Oh, for those of you who are struggling with pain pill addiction Oh, in the name of Jesus, you can be free tonight You can be free tonight, you can be free tonight Oh yeah walking testimony of that and so I release the healing anointing right now I release the deliverance anointing right now in the name of Jesus I loose it in the name of Jesus Father we honor you we praise you and I was talking to the Lord and when he dropped you to do the healing series in my heart in such a beautiful tender way the Lord said he said Jennifer I want to heal my people Jesus said I want to heal my people like it was such a longing of his heart. Every fiber of his being wants to heal you. He wants to heal you so much that the woman just touched his clothes and healing flowed right out of him. He had healing all through his entire body. And even his very clothes carried the healing anointing. He's not withholding it from you. And so I just break that off of your mind right now. That you have done something. Or that you're not good enough to receive his healing power. Because if you receive salvation, it's the same way you receive healing. He died for both. So in Jesus' name, I say be free of that mindset that says that it's not God's will for you to be healed. That is a lie from the pit of hell. And I break and bind that off of God's people right now. We crush that false doctrine right now in Jesus' mighty name. It does not line up with the word of God. Jesus' mighty name. And you can bring up the story of Job. And I'm going to bring up the story of Jesus as Christ. Jesus Christ and his blood. Yes, Jesus. We are under the new covenant. We are all under the new covenant of what Jesus Christ did. And so you can be healed and whole right now in Jesus' mighty name. And the Bible says that faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. And the word of God says, By a stride. You are healed, 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 you are healed. Healing is your portion, healing is your portion, healing is your portion, healing is your portion, healing is your portion. Fibromyalgia in the name of Jesus, be healed of that. Oh, that was one of the things that I saw this week during prayer that God was going to heal. Well, oh, thank you, Jesus. And if you're watching the replay, you can be healed. Jesus' power is not limited to a live broadcast. Oh, he's the same yesterday, today, and forevermore right now in the name of Jesus you better reach up and grab your healing if I were you I wouldn't let the moment pass me by oh you can say with confidence and with boldness I am being healed oh I'm healed right now I'm healed right now I'm healed I am healed, I am healed, healing is 
my portion. Healing is my portion. Healing is my portion. And nobody's getting in my way tonight. I'm getting healed. Nothing's standing in my way tonight. I'm getting healed. Oh, in the name of Jesus. Jesus. I just see the Lord healing bulimia right now. And in that is a healing of your heart, your spirit, your soul. Oh, yes. Type that in. Healing is my portion. Healing is my portion. It belongs to me. It's not something that I'm just wishing that I had. It's mine. My dad paid for it. My dad paid for it. Yes, for your three-year-old, in Jesus' name, heal right now. So I want to pray right now over everyone's mind. Anyone that's dealing with um, torment in your mind. And that could be depression, that could be mood disorders, that could be bipolar. Even if you have a child that has even autism or anything that's developed, delayed, I believe that God can heal it all. I mean, there's nothing too big for our God. Nothing. There's a story in the Bible where the man, um, he was like out of his mind. I mean, he was. He was out of his mind. And Jesus healed him and delivered him. And he sat there. The Bible says he sat down and he was in his right mind. All of a sudden, he was in his right mind. And the whole town knew that Jesus had power and healing power. So I just speak over your mind right now. Anyone that's been dealing with fear. Anyone that's been dealing with torment. Anyone that's been dealing with um, like low self-esteem. Rehearsing things over and over. Jesus' mighty name, bipolar, in Jesus' mighty name, schizophrenia, in Jesus' mighty name, mood disorder, multiple personalities, Jesus, 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 um, trauma, what is that, um, the trauma. Trauma, if you've had trauma in your life and you have like a wound there because of something bad that happened. PTSD, thank you. Yes, Allison, thank you. Jesus' mighty name. Autism. Anything in the mind. I command the mind right now to be sound and to be sober in Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. Jesus mighty name. just put, my womb is healed. Jesus' mighty name. Go ahead and take a step out in faith in front of everybody on live and all the thousands and thousands of replay viewers and say, my whatever is being healed. 
Jesus' mighty name. Jesus' mighty name. And we're going to see so many testimonies. And you can feel free to inbox me right on my page and right on my wall. Things that God has healed you of. We are believing for so many reports. Not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. It's by Jesus' spirit. Can we just speak to Gina right now? Can we say, Gina, in Jesus' name, there shall be a peace over you. In Jesus' mighty name. Peace right now and comfort. Let the comforter comfort you. Oh, Jesus' name, in Jesus' name, Jesus' name, Jesus' name, Jesus' name, millions healed, Jesus' name, Jesus' name. Jesus' name, we break that lie. We say the family member shall live, and this sickness is not unto death. But that God be glorified. In Jesus' name, we turn it around. We serve the God of the turnaround. In Jesus' name, whoever that is, they gave your family member pretty much no hope. We say that there is a hope, and his name is Jesus. And he is greater, he is mightier than any doctor report, any sickness, any disease. Oh, in the name of Jesus, I love the name of Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus. In the midst of the storm, I call on the name. Jesus, oh, I call on the name, the name that is above every name, I call on the name of Jesus, in the midnight hour, I call on the name of Jesus, oh, right now, I call on the name of Jesus, Michelle, I say she shall live. Call on the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Call on the name of Jesus. Jesus. Call on the name of Jesus. I call on the name of Jesus. Oh, and you don't have to wait for me to call out it. You don't have to wait for me to say the sickness. You can get healed by your own faith. Oh, get your eyes off the man and get them on Jesus. He is a healer. Oh, when I needed him, I called and he came running. Yes, when I needed him, I called. And he came running, and he scooped me up in his arms, oh, and he healed me, he healed me, he healed me, he healed me, we say, tumors leave in the name. 
Jesus function properly. I see all of the um, prayer requests. I'm just looking them over and just. Yeah, there's a lot. Eating disorders, yeah, we call that out. In Jesus' name. gone in Jesus name yes Jesus mighty name you guys nothing is impossible for God nothing is impossible for God yes Pam call them out call them out Jesus name and for the lady that has been struggling to have children in Jesus name we call your womb fertile right now in Jesus' mighty name, we command Satan to take his hands off of your womb. In Jesus' name, and we say that children shall come forth. And you are a mother. be doing this for three days. This is day one. And um, yeah, I just believe that God is healing people right now. And I believe that people were healed on this live. If you have to go back to the doctor to check it, then you need to do that. And don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. Jesus said to the man, he said, do not be afraid. Only believe. Only believe. So many times we put so much faith in what the devil is doing. Like We know the devil is bringing sickness. We know the devil did this. We know the devil did this. But do you know what Jesus did? He took on flesh. He hung on a cross. He was beaten. And he died so that we can be free, so that we can be whole, and we can be healed today. Today. And somebody's on here and they're saying, well, I prayed for somebody to get healed and they passed away, or I prayed for somebody to get healed and they never got healed. It has nothing to do with the, with the word. So be very careful allowing circumstances and what you see to dictate your faith. You can't allow that. You have to know that the word is the word. Have I prayed for people and they got healed? Yes. Have I prayed for people and they didn't get healed? Yes. Is that going to sway me in any way from believing that Jesus Christ can heal? Not at all. Because I don't walk by sight. I walk by faith. So I just want you to reset your mind. Start all over again. Start all over again. Say, Father, forgive me for where I've had doubt and unbelief. I've let circumstances and what people have told me and what people have even taught me to make me come into alignment with something that's false. And I even blamed you for giving sicknesses, God. And I ask you to forgive me for telling people that you gave sickness and you, you don't do that. We need to confess that. We need to repent of that, guys the church as a whole. I repent for saying that. And we just reset our minds right now and we just know that the Bible says that Jesus Christ has healed us. He's made us whole. And we don't have to suffer. be here every day. Thank you. So I'm going to be back on tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And I love you guys so much. And if you want to follow me, you can do that on all social media outlets, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Twitter, what else is there? Periscope. I don't really get on there that much. Jenny Weaver Worships, which is also my um, website. I think 
Austin and Jackie, who I absolutely love, or some of the other ladies I think are putting it too. It's www. www. Did I say that four times? www.jennyweaverworships. And there you can put prayer requests in, you can give, you can sew, you can go to my shop, you can get a CD, you can get t-shirts, you can see all my events, you can read the different blogs. I wrote a blog in there about when um, we lost our baby last year, and I think it would encourage a lot of you. So, in Jesus' mighty name. And you guys, if you belong to a group, you know they have those Facebook groups like prayer groups or miracle groups. Share this in the group so that people can tap into their healing. So many people just need to be stirred. So many people need to be stirred. Oh, thank you. Appreciate that. Actually, it's just straight and I was going to curl my hair tonight. But I, didn't. but I love you guys so much and I'm so excited about what God is doing. I believe that we are going to see massive amounts of miracles over social media. I believe that. I believe that people are going to get so desperate for their healing that they're going to hear something called out. They're going to hear people praying. They're going to hear people worshiping. And they're going to tap into a realm that they have never known before. That healing realm. And they're going to get healed right where they are. Zamus. Zame. Is that how you say your name? Zamus. I don't know if I'm saying that right. Can we all just pray for Zamus? I hope I'm saying her name right. But um, I just feel led to do that. I was going to end it, but I just feel led to do that. Can everybody just pray for Zamus? The way you spell her name is Z-A-M-I-S. So in the name of Jesus, we just speak over you, my sister, and we say in the name of Jesus that you are going to have children in Jesus' mighty name. And we speak over your womb and we say, be fertile right now in Jesus' name. Right now in Jesus' name. I am healed, I feel it in my womb. Hallelujah. More, God, more for her, more. Receive more right now. Receive more. Jesus, just as you overshadowed Mary, Father, overshadow her. Touch her in a mighty way. Somebody else just got on here and said they don't know how they got on here, but um, I don't know what they said. They don't know how they got on here. Oh, no, honey, God didn't forget about you. You can't forget about your children. You can't forget about someone that you died for. Yeah, he knows exactly what you're going through. He knows your name. And you didn't just stumble across this video by mistake. It was a divine setup by God. See, God knew that he was going to slow me down. And I was going to see your name. You're going to call it out tonight. And so far, what was the name? Bo Bobby? Bobby? Jesus, mighty name. We say to Bobby right now, we break off fear. We break off hurt. We break off rejection. And we say, Father loves you so much, Bobby. He would never forget about you. Never. 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 It's like I have a daughter. I would never forget about my daughter. Like ever. And I'm just a flawed human. Just imagine how much the Father loves you. So whatever lie the enemy has told you that God has forgotten about you and God doesn't care about you, that's a lie. It is a lie. The truth is this. Jesus loves you so much that our own human minds can't even comprehend the love. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. It's so amazing. So I just want to say to you, Bobby, 
I don't know if you if you know the Lord if you've been hurt and you've walked away from the Lord or you just I don't know I don't know the situation but I want to invite you I want to invite you just I know there's hundreds of people on here right now but I want to take a moment just to stop for a Bobby and I just want to invite you to come back to Jesus like and when I say come back I don't mean like you're out there a sinner and that you're just a bad person I mean to come back and be restored to him and who he is and allow him to be the father that he is so for Bobby I just pray over Bobby right now father I thank you for this person I thank you for their life I thank you that they're special I thank you that you care about them so much I thank you that you love them so much that you would literally lay down your own life. For them. And so I speak peace over Bobby's mind right now. Mm, amazing grace. God, your amazing. How sweet the sound He knows the numbers of hairs all on your head He knows your beginning and your end Yeah, so everybody just love on Bobby right now I know how that feels, I've been there purposeful in making sure that I do the singing of scriptures because I got a lot of messages. You guys are upset with me in a good way. Some people say, Jenny, come on. You got to get back to singing the scriptures. And um, it's true. And even as I was speaking with my apostle, it was like, this is, you know, the main thing that you do. So started doing singing the scriptures and then everybody wanted me to go here and go there and then I can't stop singing the scriptures so I um, I'm making it a point and I was just speaking with um, the young lady that does helps me with my calendar and my bookings that I'm going to be scheduling in singing the scriptures just like I schedule to go travel to different places I want to make sure that I don't neglect this because I feel like this is such a huge thing to people. And so many people may not be able to get to one of the events. So many people are not able to get to church. There's so many people that watch that don't go to church. They write me and they say, I don't even attend church, but I listen to singing the scriptures and I feel close to God. And I don't want to give that up, you guys. I don't want to get too busy traveling and doing what I know God's called me to do, that I um, I don't have time for singing the scriptures because I love it. I love fellowshipping with you guys and seeing your prayer requests and seeing how you're doing. I try my best to like all the comments and it, it's it's work. But I want you guys to know that somebody cares enough to to read them, to respond. Even if I don't respond to every single one, I am praying for you guys. And um, there are so many people that are praying for you. They look over every single comment. They're on here right now. And they literally begin to say your name before the Lord. And they go back and they read the replay comments. And we do this. I mean, this is our ministry. This is what we do. We love you all. Oh, God bless you, um, Zamus. I hope I said your name right. Yes, we pray for your three-year-old. In Jesus' name, we believe that your three-year-old is healed. Zelma, I love you. Zelma paints. You guys need to go follow her page. She's an amazing prophetic artist. So um, I'm going to be back on tomorrow at 9 p.m. Thank you, Martha. I love you. You're very supportive. Um, praying for you, Jesus.
Jean, I guess Jean put a comment. So I'll be back on tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time for the second day of the healing series. And people have been healed and people are healed in Jesus' mighty name. And I think I saw some people from New Hope at the Cornerstone on here, so I'm very excited about that. I rarely get to see you guys on my lives, so I'm happy when you tune in. All right, I love you all. Have a good night, and um, we are praying for you in Jesus' mighty name. I will see you back here tomorrow. Message me that you were healed. I want to know.